So we have an A, right? Which is good. But then we have a swarm of bees. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I am Tessellating Hexagons, back with some more Knight's Journey of Dreams, the journey of over time and space in a quest to have every mission above sea level. Ha ha! In this episode, we're heading back into Memory Forest. And if this mission is the one that I think it is, it feels heavy in the music department and possibly the story department, and also fairly lengthy. Hit me with that good stuff, oh cutscene friend of mine. These woods sure are dark. The enemy could be hiding just about anywhere. Be on your toes, Helen. These woods... These trees... I think my family came here on a picnic once when I was younger. Mom got our lunch ready. And I played hide and seek with Dad. And... That's right. This is Nightopia, the dream world of my memories. Come on, Knights! Let's go! Knights! Where are you? Hey! Where did you go? How fucking precious is that? I. I'm not even going to apologize, this is just sweet. So anyway, here we are, second mission of the level, and it's already separated from Knight's Funtime Town, but hey, there are Nightopians everywhere, so how bad could it be? So yeah, if you go backwards from the start, and yes, I, I know my camera work is a little bit confusticating, but go back from the start, there's a load of blue chips. Really, that doesn't help much, but at least it gives you something to attack with, should the need arise. I, I won't say anything as to whether or not the need will arise, but hey, just in case, we're prepared. We we have been armed. Now, remember in the last episode when I was talking about these... Muffins? It's funny, because Knights has to drill dash them, but Helen can just walk right through them. So yeah, we have a level built around making sure that you get from A to B's within the, the, the allotted time. Good luck! And if you fall, you will have a negative experience. As in, you'll just have to climb up and, and try again, and... It's all just time-based. And you will have noticed there, if the nighttime time time runs out while you're inside a block that is only present during the daytime... Like, if a block should reappear but you're still standing inside it, then it will have the courtesy to at least wait until you've moved out of it before it respawns. Go! Away! I missed. Yeah, these guys are the biggest thump nankles of this level. They will wander around and splamp you, and that's not a fun time. Luckily, clocks. And that's just the end of that thought. So, this music is just right in the feels. Now, as someone who has lived in England all my life and grown up here, although I, I have been to a whole bunch of different countries because, you know, like it or not, England and the United Kingdom as a whole are all in Europe geographically, so I live very much a European lifestyle. I've been to other countries, but I... de worms, thank you. But, you know, like it or not, I... I grew up here, and so... I have very English memories. I'm gonna boop that and then immediately run away, because bees! But what I don't remember is which way is the right way here, because... Oh, that's... That is tight, but hey, we got a dream drop! Do I get a clock as well? I do get a clock as well! There you go, I was not expecting to get dream drops of any kind in this playthrough, but there you go, we got a level dream drop. There's also that one in Crystal Castle, the Labyrinth Guide mission, that I didn't get, but I, I got right up next to it, so does that count for anything? Why are these wormholes a thing? I don't understand, they just make things strange. But yes, so anyway, as I was saying, having lived the English childhood as it were, this level speaks to me. Obviously, we're, we're not much for the old-fashioned Enid Blyton sort of, oh, let's go and have ginger beer in the woods, rather, but it's still culturally close enough that I still feel it. And so I just, I really feel Helen's memories, and it's just so sweet, and the music makes me feel feelings, too. <laughs> Remember how 
Well, you might not. Depending on how long you've been with my channel, you may remember that one of the levels in Kirby's Epic Yarn sort of made me have a, a cuteness overload because it was made of toys and cute things, and I'm getting very much the same situation here. Now, do I have time enough to make it through this segmento de platformation? Because clearly that's how you speak Spanish, because that's obviously what I was going for. Will I make it to the end in time? Please. Please. I succeed, which is the past tense of succeeds. There's a hole. Should I go down the hole? I think the game wants me to go down the hole. What I'm especially surprised at is I've been efficient enough at getting clocks and such like that. Hey, look, we've only lost, like, if that were an actual clock, five minutes of real time. Well, not real time, but the clock in the corner indicates a chunk of five. So we're doing plenty well as far as not summoning the waker is concerned. I'm just wondering if there's a dream drop down there, but this isn't a dream drop friendly run. Owl, what is your hoodle? Okay. Be strong and leap into the hole. Okay, well, if you insist. C can I seize, please? C can I seize, please? Oh, that that draw distance is not very helpful. Well, pardon me while I descend. Descension. It's like detention, but you descend. Well, we're at the bottom of the hole. And I don't know how it will affect your grade, but it is worth your time to wander around in pursuit of these extra chests. I'd imagine that the score it gives you would sort of... Bees, can, can, can you be... Can you be somewhere else? Like, can you be bees elsewhere? I got caught on a rock like a rock pigman. I don't know if bonuses necessarily count towards getting a good grade at the end, but you would have thought. Now, I'm just going to stand over here and wait for a hot second, because then the timer will expire and these blocks will reappear, and then we could do some platforming. Yay! Yay, platforming. I saw something. What is this? Oh, it's just an Etopia. I thought maybe for a second it looked like she was about to pick it up. Well, what was the other way then? Because I just came this way because there was a clock in a place. I thought maybe there'd be a dream drop or something. Well, fine, I'm going to see what's over there. I probably accidentally went the right way and then Tom fucked myself. Is this a dead end? It is. Well, whatever, there's bonuses here. It's not that much of a maze. I already went the right way. Go away, electric femble. I do believe if you get good combos with collecting blue chips, it does also count towards reducing your clock in the corner. And I was going all, I was going out my way just because I thought maybe there would be dream drops here, even though I said I wasn't going to collect them, just so I could feel good about myself, so that I could trick myself into thinking I was having a fantastic time by collecting things that I wasn't originally going out my way to collect, and thus doing it by accident and make myself feel like a good time. Can I? Yui. You, you go on your way, Yui. I'm hoping that that has the same effect as the, the gnomes in, um, what's it called, uh, you know that one game with the people, I don't remember what it's called, but, but the boat people, you know the boat people, uh, Little Nightmares, that's the one, there's a switch, we need to, we can't press the switch, we need to go up and down and there'll be another clock timer in the sky, and that switch will get rid of these angry donuts, and we need to defeat the angry donuts in order to progress. Do you see why I didn't want to go to this level straight away? Dream... Really? All this for a dream drop? My kingdom for a dream drop. I'll take it. Maybe there's just another switch around here that's more easily accessible? Because there's... Yeah, okay. That's fine then. I thought maybe there'd be one of these... Like, what I would've done is put the dream drop back here and put this switch back up there. Ah! Okay, you got me. Okay, get up, Helen. There's no time, hurry up. Okay, we need to make this run and make it count. Also, the, the, the way they schlumple from left to right and back again means they're really difficult to avoid. Oh, come now. Oh, come now. They're really difficult to hit with blue chips. So you, you just go away. Thankfully, there's a tiny bit of auto-aim and that's all I need. Ha, huh, bank shot. <laughs> that should not have worked, but it did. Okay, I'm not expecting the best grade in the world, but this is meant to be a fairly long, fairly confusing level, so... Anyway, we've pressed the switch, we've got caught on the switch, and that should have disposed of the thornies. The thorn friends. The thorn genes. Now, this looks like progress. I like the streetlights, by the way. So I'm gonna, ca I'm gonna cab that time and explore over heather. Oh, it just requires a fabulous jump. 
Unless I go up there and press a switch. I don't know what you want from me anymore, game. We're running out of time. Job. Jump, Britain. Yeah, that looks like progress somehow. Just don't boop that switch. We need to climb up to the here. But yes, do you seize why I didn't want to do this level in the last episode? But especially after those 50 years of Helen. Thank you. After those 50 years of cutscenes. Problem is, this way looks like progress too. So yes, this is a fairly chunky level. And it is absolutely, I'd, I'd say, the hardest of the Stuck Without Knights levels. So, you know, best bring your best. And that's clearly not what I've been doing. Time, please. Thank you. <laughs> just do what I needed. Can I reset you just by touching you? No. I feel like I'm going to need to wait for this to reset so I can reset it and go back around the way again. Here we go around the bush of mulled berries. Because I've got back into the, like, my taste for booted legs again. And by that, I mean, like, the idea of there being like a, a compound phrase, like a, like a noun phrase, where it has a bootlegged version. And the bootleg is the, like, the name of the original object, but like something like a cupcake, like that that's a compound of the words cup and cake, and like the, the booted leg version would be a cupped cake, where you're not allowed to call it a cupcake because it doesn't comply with the brand guidelines of a cupcake, so it's a cupped cake, or you know, peppered mint, you get the idea. I've fallen back into love with that as a concept. Can you just not with your electric ass, your electric ass venue? You know, like Electric Avenue, but it's an ass venue. <laughs> Have you ever been? Now, please contain clocks. I'm getting rather paranoid about the time. Look, we've spent like 10 minutes in this level. In fact, literally over 10 minutes. We found Liui as well. Okay, let's get a decent combo and have a fantastic time with our... Don't grab the friend. We need to have a good combo here to unwind the cloak. Unwind the cloaca. Don't unwind the cloaca if you have a clockwork bird friend. Choo choo! Fwoof! Fwoof! And where we land. And there's knights, we have made it, but before I get too close. Never mind. I was gonna say, is there maybe a dream drop in that last area? Ah, uh, it's just barely not a B. Now the reason why you want to get good grades is um well I was mistaken, and I will and I was going to talk about this in the last episode, but then a load of cutscenes happened. The real reason you want good grades isn't to unlock levels as previously thought, but rather... Yes, that's... I'd imagine that is the case with, uh, with this forest. As long as you get A's, B's, or C's in all of your missions in the game, then you'll get your character's good ending. If you get a D or an E in any mission, I think that nullifies that, so you need to make sure you get good grades. But it won't bar your progress in any way, you just need to have a good time. Which... I expect, but the game does track how many A's you get, and so for true 100% completion, you do need all A's. Anyway, do we have more story? Look, it's Octopods! I know you must be pretty good at flying by now. Come on, let's keep up with this little fellow. I mean, if you can. I'll keep up. Okay, let's do it then. It's gonna be fun! <laughs> 35 links in the carousel chamber, no less. So you need to start with a bit of a, a boost of speed, otherwise, you know, your link time will run out before you get to the next set of linkables. And what doesn't help matters is this horse tornado, everything in it is constantly moving up and down, so you need to be flying up and down as well. Ah nearly stuffed that one up. It'll be so nice if I could get this first try. I hope, I pray, you'll see the light and find your way. I pray, I pray, la forza del destino che è in te. Ah, I fucked it up. Just because, you know, Crystal Castle took me a couple of attempts. This, I hope, doesn't. But I can dream. A man can dream. A, a woman can also dream. I failed twice. Because look at this level. Look at that with which I must deal. Now, if you're quick about it, you can do a little power loop in the blue chips to make sure that they attract to you and 
There you go. That's nice and generous. But then we have the this, and in order to succeed here, you do need to make it nighttime just to get, like, blue chips from the Twinkle Bells. I don't know if they have an official name, so I'm calling them Twinkle Bells, because they twinkle and they're blue bells, I think. Now, I'm so glad that the game hasn't put those, um, like, antimatter space and time worms in here, because that would just be the nastiest thing to do, and ah, uh, ah, uh, I was just getting warmed up. Really? Wow. That kept me in suspense, that took ages to decide in a grade, well, okay, I'll see you in a hot second then. I feel as though skillful management of the rocket persona could probably make that easier, but... Come on. Thank you! An A! I feel like I deserve that. I mean, I made it through at least one complete lap of the course, so there you go. There you go, Octopora, you're proud of me now! <sighs> By the way, the music that plays in the cutscenes when Knights is like, Why, it's Octopore! That's called Cowardly Custard, and I had to explain to a certain friend of mine that yes, that is in fact an expression in the English language. I would dispute that, Owl. I am out of practice. Anyway, that's the end of this episode, so I have been and will continue to be Tessellating Hexagons. Helen, would you like to wave goodbye to the lovely people? I will wait for you to do that while I say that in the next episode, we will head back into Memory Forest and do the last mission there and then face the boss again, and it's gonna be a fun time. Come on, wave goodbye, I know you're capable, you did it before, but just after the last episode ended. Ah, oh, so cute! I love this game so much. Anyway, have been, will continue to be Tess Hex, see you in the next one, goodbye, and have a safe life! <laughs>